It really is a, a staggering city. A warm welcome, everybody, to this special cricket match. The first in the SA20. MI Cape Town against Par Royals, two star-studded teams. So the toss was won by Rashid Khan, who only a couple of weeks ago, by the way, was appointed captain of Afghanistan. He's now also captain of MI Cape Town. And he hasn't got Liam Livingston or KG Rabada today. Yeah, so we, on the screen here we see George Linder opening the bowling. Uh, it's quite an interesting move. And now they're the white ball kings, and rightfully so. Magic! What a moment for MI Cape Town. They pulled him out of a hat at the last minute, and he's turned up on the day and done it for them. A bit, I'd show, give, gave himself a bit more time there. Just three for the votes, nine for one. So it is Jason Roy. I'm surprised his average isn't better than that. He has been a superb player. I think Kevin Peterson will be on commentary in a moment and knows him well and thinks a lot of him. Strike rate of 142 is outstanding. This is a very long walk for Jason Roy. He'll be kicking himself. He'll be fuming. He'll be livid. Just done all the hard yards. He got himself into a great position. Mid on goes back. It's the slower ball. And he smacks it down the captain's arms. Roy has to make way for 13. The Paul Royal say 45 for two. Just Butler still in there. Dane Vilas, he comes out. Porton blow. Dane Vilas, who couldn't get any rhythm, only a brief time out in the middle. It's looking like a Butler day or very hard work for the Royals here. Mind you, chasing isn't going to be easy either. Huge, huge wicket. Vilas goes for six of seven deliveries and the score 56 for three. Have to hurry. Ooh, that is a risky run. Jam packed. Where's he going to go? It's up. It's absolutely clouted. He could run two, three. He's dropped. It doesn't matter. Irrelevant. The king of the jungle, the lion. Owen Morgan happy. A dressing room that's happy. It's his 61st 50 in T20 cricket. It's a huge wicket. But uh, I think moving a little bit early, Stone showing all the courage in the world by going straight, because we've seen Butler knocking that for six more often than not. 51, he goes for 104 for four. Do both left-handers go? Do they go right now? Owen Morgan. We've seen Owen Morgan go before early doors. Whacked his pad as hard as anybody can with the bat. Picking out the man out at cover, George Linder, who made no mistake at ankle height. He gets the danger man, David Muller, who goes for 42 of just 31 deliveries. That's fine. It's not an easy pitch to come in and play those cameos that we're talking about. And Joffre Archer, he reads the pitch, he takes the pace off once again. And he wins the battle once again. First baller for Verisco, 133 for six. Oh, <laughs> it was on target. Yeah, I absolutely on target. You're wondering if he's short boundary. He didn't get a lot of it. Under edge, really, I think, mainly. Does he come back for two? Going to have to go if he does. He does and makes it. Very good running. Oh, no, no, at the other end. Morgan's the one run out. Fortane had made it comfortably at the danger end. Wonder if Morgan even knew he was threatened. Throw at the keeper's end here from Karen. Yeah, and he's miles out. It closes out the innings for Power Royals. They finish on 142 for seven. Owen Morgan, last man out for 19. There it is then, 51 for Butler, who played very well on a surface that didn't really come onto the bat. 42 for David Miller. They're the two standout performances from two standout players. This is a terrific young talent, Deval Brevis. He's, a, he's got a lot of game. He's been likened often to A.B. de Villiers. A.B. was saying that he threw at him a couple of years ago in the nets and was astonished at what he saw.
That is a terrible drop. Oh, my word. He's going to pick up a single to finish here. No wickets down. Oh, no, run out. Close. Has gone. Yeah, Simmons strikes the first blow. He's been taken over deep square leg for a maximum. But he comes back this time. Pitched up. Rickleton's gone. Bold Simmons for 42. It's 90 for one. OK, Sam Curran coming in at three, which might have been the plan anyway. Equally, it might be a fast promotion because of the search for the bonus point. One. What a smile. What a stroke. Absolutely amazing ball stacking. In. You have indeed, and that's why he comes into the attack. Shamsi, can he change the game? Unfortunately, not. Town win by eight wickets.